we want to find the seating capacity of an auditorium with 52 rows of seats if there are 24 seats in the first row, 28 seats in the second row, 32 seats in the third row, and so on. We can model this situation using an arithmetic series where the first term would be 24 plus the second term would be 28 plus the third term which would be 32 plus all the way out to the 52nd term because there are 52 rows. There are several things we should notice here. To find successive terms, we would add four each time, which would give us our common difference, D, for the arithmetic series. So we know D is equal to positive four. Next, because we have 52 rows of seats, we know the number of terms in this series would be 52. We also know a sub one, the first term, is equal to 24. And now to find the partial sum of this arithmetic series, we can use this formula here. a sub n is equal to n divided by two times the quantity a sub one plus a sub n. So notice before we find this partial sum, we also have to find a sub n. And since n is equal to 52, we need to find a sub 52. To do this, we'll have to use this formula here, where for an arithmetic sequence, a sub n is equal to a sub one plus the quantity n minus one times d. So let's go ahead and find a sub 52, and then we can find this partial sum. So a sub 52 is gonna be equal to a sub one, which is 24, plus n minus one, where n is equal to 52, so we have 51 times our common difference d, which we know is four. So a sub 52 is equal to 24 plus 204. So the 52nd term is 228. And now using this information here, now we have all the information we need in order to find the number of auditorium seats or the sum of this arithmetic series. S sub 52 is gonna be equal to 52 divided by two times the quantity a sub one plus a sub n, or in this case, 24 plus 228. 52 divided by two is 26. 24 plus 228 is equal to 252. So the number of seats in the auditorium, or S sub 52, is equal to 26 times 252 is equal to 6,552, and this would be the number of seats. Okay, I hope you found this explanation helpful.